morning guys, it's David from Redneck Garage. I'm out here just having a cup of coffee. It's about, golly, it feels like it's almost 60 degrees out here. It's beautiful for January. Last night I was watching a TV show called uh, Graveyard Cars, and it's a, it's a cool Mopar show if you like Mopars. It's one of those few reality shows that's kind of a reality show where they're actually fixing up the cars and it's not a bunch of fake stuff. Of course, now, I was watching and I was thinking, you know, they got a guy that does the painting, they got another guy that does the uh, motor work, they got another guy that does, you know, design and stuff. So you're, you got this whole team of guys building a car, and I was thinking, you know what, I have to do all those jobs when I'm out here in my garage doing it myself. And that's really the truth, right? You get to make all the decisions, you get to do all the work. But you know what, there's some satisfaction in that to be able to say I did it all myself. So that's super cool. So in that light, I've been looking for the past two or three weeks on Craigslist and eBay and all over the internet for a hardtop. One of my decisions that I've made on this Jeep uh, TJ project is that I want to have a hardtop. Uh, I've never ever had a, I've restored a bunch of Jeeps, but I've never ever had one that had a hardtop on it. And I thought that would be really cool. <clears throat> I've also decided that I'm going to install air conditioning on it. There you go, because I'm putting a hard top on, we're going to try that. I'll have a summer topless Jeep and a winter, I don't know. But anyway, so that opens up the next adventure. On Craigslist, I saw uh, a hard top advertised for 500 bucks from a 2002 TJ. No pictures, no nothing, so I emailed the guy. Eventually, get to a point where I said, okay, I'll take it. He sent me some pictures that were terrible. And I had no idea what we were getting into when we headed up there. It was about an hour away. And this is our adventure, Spencer and I, when we went up to pick up the top. So Spencer and I are going to get the hard top. And that is uh, the church truck that we're borrowing. And it is just a beautiful Chevrolet ride that we're going to take. And if you don't want people to think that Christians are rich, this would be the truck that you drive. <laughs> All right, Spencer and I are going up to Springfield, Tennessee. And it's about an hour from here. And hope the truck makes it. Um, it's pretty sketchy. <laughs> but I was on Craigslist the other night looking for a hardtop. I looked on eBay. I looked all over and I found one and this guy's got it in some barn. The pictures weren't very good so uh, all I know it's a tan top and it came off a 2002 TJ and he's asking 500 bucks for it so it's worth 500 bucks no matter what even if I have to do a little bit of repair work on it and uh, I would planned on repainting it anyway. So that's cool, so about an hour we're going to see what this thing looks like. Head north! This truck is fine, it's got a custom steering wheel for your, you put your thumb here, right here and it keeps your thumb from coming off and it's got a custom headliner. There's Spencer. Hey! Hey! Um, a couple years back, I think it was like four or five, somebody ripped the stereo out while I was parked at the church and you know they're going to hell for that probably. <laughs> Anyway, we're going up to Springfield. Well, we've been driving about an hour and we're about to pull into big city of Springfield. We're about 15 minutes away. What do you think, Spence? I, just, I don't know. He can't take it without the radio. There's no music, so it's been pretty, all he's had to do is listen to me talk for an hour. How was that? It was delightful. Delightful, okay. Delightful. All right, we're pulling into Springfield, so we got just a few minutes. Oh, you ain't got to clear that. That chain topper. <laughs> topper. <laughs> this is like off-road action, dude. <laughs> you imagine shit. bringing your little Nissan truck up through here? Man. <laughs> Alright. Hold it up towards the windshield so you're not getting the door frame. <laughs> We're just filming us back. Damn, I'm gonna watch your back. <laughs> oh, this is muddy. You think you'll get offended by the camera? You can turn it off now. Oh, okay. Gas, man, dollar eighty-five. So it fit in here pretty good. We got her set in there. Looks like it's in good shape. Glass isn't broken. The only damage to it is right here on these bottom corners, that fiberglass, which I can repair, and I need to find the vents that go in the back side of it. They're missing. But as far as like the top goes, man, holy moly, 500 bucks. That's a steal. It's got the rear wipers. And so we're headed back to Franklin with it. Okay, so I thought I'd just give you a quick walk around of it. You can see that this thing's been sitting in a barn for, I don't know, forever. Um, and the top was in really, really good shape, except for these bottom corners. You can see that maybe, I don't know, epoxy or 
they did some kind of fiberglass repair at some point, and it was missing the vents. So I'm going to have to find some vents for it. But uh, overall, man, I was just really super happy with the condition of the top. There's no cracks, and there's uh, it's it's in really good shape. I guess it's been inside from the elements for that long. Um, the edges are sharp, no dents, no cracks. Um, so I was just tickled to death to find this top for 500 bucks. That is a heck of a deal uh, from all the other ones that I looked at. So great, great purchase. So that's about it, man. That was a great trip. I am super happy with the top. I'm excited that we're going to be able to restore it, put it on. That's going to be a really neat video. I haven't seen any other videos about hard tops on uh, YouTube as far as like restoration and painting on it. So that's going to be another video uh, in this TJ series. That's going to be about it today. We've got a bunch of stuff coming in from UPS, so i got to get going. David from Redneck Garage, keep turning wrenches.